Hello everyone, how are you doing? How are you? I hope you are fine. You are welcome in the name of Jesus. You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. You are welcome to our channel. Please, as you are coming in, try to subscribe and turn on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you will always get updates when I upload videos like this. Daily upload for your spiritual growth, for your financial growth. Okay? Please do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. You are going to share this with your friends because this will help them a lot. Today, I'm going to show you a powerful psalm that you can read to leave poverty. Many of you, you don't believe that there is a psalm you can read to break out of poverty and attract wealth. In case you don't know, there is a psalm you can read and pray with when you lack money, when you are broke. Read this psalm and pray with it and watch financial miracle. Anytime you need anything, if you are always broke, if you are always borrowing, if you are always begging, you are always begging and borrowing, there is no time you will just say, okay, I have. You always lack money. You are working and that job you are doing does not yield fruit. There is no result. You are not making enough money from that job. You are not making enough money from that job to pay your bills. Life nowadays is very expensive. The cost of living nowadays is very, very expensive. But if you don't earn enough, you will not be able to live up to standard. So, up until now, if you are still looking for a good job, basically, if you work and the money you get from that job is not enough to pay your bills, it is as if you are jobless. Of course, what is a job? A job is something you do that can foot your bills. But if you are working and that thing you are doing does not bring in enough money, or your business is not growing, your business is not growing, you have not been able to attract patronage to your business. All you do is to borrow and beg. You borrow here, you beg here, and you feel that God cannot answer you. God can answer you. You are going to learn how to pray with Sam to get speedy answer. Anything you need, anything at all you need, just take a sheet of paper and write down your request. Get a book like this and tear out a sheet of paper like this and write down your request. Yeah. What do you need? If you need money, how much do you need? If you don't believe it, it will not work for you. But if you believe it, you will see shocking financial miracles. So when you are done writing the amount you need or whatever you need, this is not only financial. If you need anything from God, maybe you need to get married. You need to have children. You need to grow. Whatever you need. If you are sick, you need healing. You are going to pray with this psalm. Psalm 68 verse 19. Read the whole of Psalm 68. Okay? Read the whole of Psalm 68. But focus more on verse 19. Okay? And Psalm 68 has 35 verses. From verse 1 to 35. So before you sleep tonight, read from verse 1 to 35 of Psalm 68, okay? And pray with it. But look at the exact verse. Praise the Lord who carries our burdens day after day. 
He is the God who saves us. Our God is a God who saves. He is the Lord, our Lord, who rescues us from death. God will surely break the heads of his enemies, of those who persist in their sinful ways. The Lord has said, I will bring your enemies back from Basham. I will bring them back from the depths of the ocean, so that you may wade in their blood, and your dogs may lap up as much as they want. You are seeing here that the Lord has promised to destroy all your enemies. Let me tell you the truth. Behind every financial hardship, there is an enemy. The devil is responsible for poverty and not God. So if you are being told that God likes you like that, God, it is not God. His plans for us, they are of good and not of bad. He does not wish us ill. So what the Lord is saying is that he will carry your burdens. He will remove your problem. He will solve that thing that you need. He will give you all you want and destroy every enemy trying to stop your breakthrough. That is what this scripture is talking about. Psalm 68 verse 19. The Lord is saying that he will break the heads of his enemies. The enemies of God, they are your enemies. God does not have a specific enemy because he is God. Nothing can be done to him. But an enemy to his children, us, becomes his enemy. So anybody, whatever evil is stopping your progress, whatever they have done, God will destroy them and destroy your enemy and carry your burdens. So when you are done, say this prayer. Heavenly Father, as you have said in Psalm 68 verse 19, you said you will carry my burdens. You said you will carry away my problems. You said you will remove this poverty and hardship, this stagnation. See, whatever is in your life that you don't like, speak it out now as you are saying this. Maybe you experience delay or stagnation. Speak it out. You said you will carry away this delay and stagnation. You said you will remove this sickness. They are all burdened to me. Lord, remove them from me and bless me. Now, begin to tell God what you want. Lord, I need this. Lord, I need that. I need growth. I need money. I am tired of begging. I am tired of lacking. Bless me financially. Take away this problem. In the name of Jesus, as you have said in verse 20 of Psalm 68, you said that you will destroy every enemy trying to stop my progress in life. You will break their head. Lord God, I call upon you now to destroy all my enemies. Every enemy of my progress, every enemy of my sources, destroy them now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I tap from the blessing in Psalm 68 verse 19 and 20 to remove every burden, every problem from my life. Lord, I believe in you. I know you can do it. Thank you, Lord, for carrying away my burdens. That is all you need. You must not say it with the exact words that I used, but follow the pattern and use your words. But make sure you pick it out from the scripture. That is how to use scriptures to pray. That is how to use scriptures to pray. He said in the scripture that he will carry away your burdens. What is burden? Problem. Everything negative he will remove from your life. And he will destroy your enemy. So use that to pray. Every day. And you will see that that mountain, that big mountain, that problem that you have, God will remove your burden, as he has said, if you continue to read Psalm 68, verse 19. He will give you all you want. Try to have faith. Be patient. God will not abandon you. Pray with it and receive your miracle. Thank you for watching. 
please subscribe if you have not and turn on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you will always get updates when I upload videos. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. God will bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Amen.